Hello there, my name is WikiNR, and welcome back for another round of West of Loathing. Uh, so, what did we do last time? Um, stuff. We did some stuff. That is what we did. Good to see you again if you had a chance to take a keystone to the last... Okay, so yeah, we still have to figure out how to get into that the, the Dutch oven mine. Don't know how yet. Um... Let's see, we got, yeah, we cured myself a couple episodes ago. I uh, think I did all the stuff at Fort Unnecessary. Um, looked at the stuff at the jeweler's cabin. Oh, learned about, yeah, there's more crap up here. There has to be more stuff up here. Um, still looking for the train. Um, you know, there was a, another place with that, all those... Those goblins. Where was that? I'm pretty sure that was a mine. Oh, no, 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 that was like a gulch. That was, I think that was this, the, the gulch. You find a safe on the side of the trail, ironic, you think to yourself it's, that it's in such an unsafe location. You hop down from Splody to find that if uh, the safe is locked in addition to being closed, which you could tell <laughs> it was from horseback. Crack the safe. Woo! 207 meat. Good haul. Ah, there we go. Okay. Hello. Fancy dress goblin steps forward. Okay. Seems friendly, but blocks your entry into the gold. See, I don't want to attack him if he seems friendly. Like, he's not like the other ones that want me dead. Like, and not all of them have wanted me dead. I think it would be so much easier if I... I think there is... I think I had the chance at one point to learn how to speak goblin. And I think I might have accidentally not taking that chance i don't know how to get into there though into the lost dutch oven mine that's what i need to get, do i'm surprised that i can't get into it because i'm like the freaking prince of stench or something like that out with uh, some stench resistance i don't know i've been doing this forever <laughs> for this one I had to look it up I just looked it up I'm cheating I know but like I don't know how long this game is and there's even more things to make it even longer there are DLCs to this game there's at least one I know I can play it if I want to um, or if you guys want me to, I know I am working on other DLCs right now, but what it said was, hi, angry lady, the thing that makes it me stench resistant is the sweet smell and flowers, 15% stench resistance. I don't know where I put them. This goes in your offhand. Okay. Um, what do I have in my offhand right now? Pistols, rings. Oh, that's my offhand. Okay. So I'll take that and we'll go to the mine. I already have one of the the things that I need the um, keystones. I don't I don't get the the existence of the keystones anyways. There we go. Barely tolerable. Okay. Good enough for me. These lockers are un unlabeled and unlocked. Get them. Gas mask and a miner's pants. What are miner's pants? Miner. Oh, jeez. You can't wear the, uh, these if you're <laughs> for 18 feet tall because they'd be way too sweet for you. And small for you. Oh my god. That was bad. Vienna blood sausages. Okay. It's like sasasa sasa 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 I don't know uh, what kind of tobacco these miners were chewing, but it must be extra corrosive because this brass brass spittoon has a hole eaten through the bottom and dark stains underneath it where the spit leaked out. Although oddly, it does seem it doesn't seem to be leaking now, and it's half full. I guess the miners plugged the hole with something. Inspect it. It's a spittoon. It's disgusting. You can practically see the stink lines coming off of it. Come on, let's not do this. All right, fine. Except not. Inspect it inspect it 
Ah, oh, jeez, fine, okay. You crouch down and take a careful look uh, at the filthy splatoon, uh, spittoon. The inside is blackened with years' worth of stains. The death broth inside the, has a rainbow sheen like a parking lot oil spill. But... <laughs> but there's no cars. And occasionally a little bubble pops on the surface. You can actually see feel a slight warmth radiating eating, eating off of it from whatever dire chemical reaction is taking place in there. Realize you're holding your breath, not deliberately, but from the human body's natural instinct for self-preservation. Inhale. Okay. Imagine someone made a big pot of chili on carne and left it under the porch. Three rats crawl into the pot, eat half the chili, and then die. A week later, the, a family of cockroaches takes up residence among the writhing maggots. The cockroaches smoke thick black cigars, which they let off light with tufts of burning human hair. This is what it smells like. Sergeant, fortunately for you, the rainbow-colored film of, on the surface is of the liquid coats your hand as you plunge it into the toxic stew, keeping it up from being immediately dissolved down to the bones. The smell intensifies, and your stomach prepares to hose the poisons off your arm with a high-pressure steam up stream of vomit. Keep searching. Your fingers touch the um, something at the bottom of the spittoon. Better pull it out fast while you still have something to pull. A pull! I got pants. You pull the wor uh, world's most disgusting pair of pants out of the spittoon and jump back as the hole at the spittoon's bottom, now unplugged, begins to leak uh, steaming filth. Congratulations, you are now a proud owner of the worst object <laughs> ever paid, even pay, uh, been paid to think about nar narrowly Defeating a leather bondage harness made from the skin of a cloud. Oh my god. This game. Okay. These uh, these pants look and smell like they were used to line the bottom of a leaky spittoon. And that, there's a very good reason for that. Um, no, I'm going to keep those right now. Kerosene. Okay, they picked over. They've been picked over. But I, oh no, I just got kerosene, not oil. I thought I had oil. Unless I sold it. I always sell the things that I need. Ugh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess I don't have it. Guess I'll go get oil. Let's go to down to dirt water check the merchant there see if he has any i don't know see a glint of light in the distance when you get closer you realize that it's the sun reflecting off the lens of discarded pair of binoculars on the ground grab them i don't get why this place has this like this world has disposable um disposable oh there we go yeah, okay so it has what am I trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. Get rid of that. There's another one that I want to get rid of. I want to try and keep as many of the other things as I can. Like the different sodas and stuff like that all those random things because even though i've like i've hardly used any of those things i've used them a couple times they occasionally up things that i need like um when i had to up my moxie to help the guy learn how to tie a bow tie back up to the mine oh yeah i've got to go check out that soon too the silver or platter In we go. You emerge from the elevator into a deeper shaft. By the light of your lantern, you see exposed meat veins in, on nearly every surface. It's unusual that there would be this much readily available meat left in a working mine. What were they digging for, if not this? Curious. I will gladly... Um, he looks like he's gone crazy. 
I was making sure there was none over there. This guy is totally out of it. He's gibbering and drooling, and he doesn't seem to even notice you. Hey, buddy, are you okay? Glob, blah, 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 blah. Uh huh. You wave your hand in front of his face, but he doesn't react at all. Well, yeah, the dude's probably been down here for I don't even know how long. Covered in, like, or in complete darkness, which, you know, will leave him not being able to really see. Ooh. Stem is pretty, but it smells terrible, extracted. There's a lot of bones. Uh, as you get near the rocks, the voices in your head begin screaming too loudly, too loudly to ignore. You have to get out of this pit right now. Fine, fine, but I need to go in there. But why, dude? Maybe I gotta go. I'll g I guess I'll go talk to the professor and be like, dude, it's driving people crazy. <laughs> Where's that little music box? That's what's that's what's making the music currently is the little music box. Oh yeah, and I can go sell um go give that jewel to the one the goblin that does that stuff he does stuff with the jewels excuse me there it is turn it off right now I will find myself whistling, um, the, like, the, um, the introduction, like, theme music from this song while I'm at work. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. I just do. Um, how do I, well then, if it's gonna drive me crazy, what do I do? Because I would quite like to not go crazy. Uh, wrestling sound, the, the goblin wearing clown makeup and practicing their cartwheels and mostly failing. Eventually they give up on tumbling practice and start repeatedly throwing a shiny metal ball in the air and catching it. Leave him alone. Dude's just trying to... <laughs> oh god. That's creepy. I'm gonna just go along my way now. Oh lovely. Howdy, what can I do for you? Hmm. Well, do you have a menu? A menu? What are you talking about? Isn't this like a walk-up style restaurant? What? No, I'm the silver plate. Oh, he played the plater, not platter. Um, I play things with silver, you know. Oh, I thought your sign was. Never mind. <laughs> the man grins, revealing a full set of silver plated teeth. So, you need something plated? What are my options? Um, I could plate that hat you're wearing. People uh, with silver hats get more done, they say. Maybe something else. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a lot, so if I do want to do that, I can do that at this moment, but I'm not going to do that at this moment, because it's like, okay. I don't know why I'm like so, I'm not like really tired right now, I'm just yawning a lot. See, so Glen of Light, another, another one. People are just chucking these things away left and right. How dare they? I don't know what I'm supposed to do if I... Can I just make the old guy over there that's crazy? Mind them? Ba -do -ba -do. guy worked his fingers to the bone digging and they worked 
his bones nearly to the marrow. Oh, your heart is pounding. The gouge marks are dark with blood. You have to get out of this pit right now. Okay, so there is something bad in here. Everything is like, don't do that. You will go crazy and die. So these people, like, were trying to claw their way out. stuff that I have to do to be able to do what I need to to get in there. Um, firstly, I have to try and touch as little of the, like, all those things that I was touching um, as possible. I'll try and touch as few of those things. And then, I'm pretty sure I've gotten one in the past, but um, I have to find an old, uh, the El Vibrato headband one of those so that I can give it to the crazy guy. I know, it's not right. I'm using help. Whoa. You're different. <laughs> um, I can get the one guy to recover, and apparently he'll move to dirt water if I do so. Um, but I, that requires finding another one of those headbands from, like, one of the El Vibrato caves. Um, but I have to, yeah, I have to go down there. And I have to try and touch as few of the gouge marks, piles of skeletons, and stuff like that as possible. Because if I touch them, it creeps me out to the point that I can't go back. So when I get down to that third level as few things as possible but I if I find I'll, I'll try and find another one of those things oh my there we go um this pile was pretty obviously made on purpose closer inspection reveals that the stones are mortared together jeez Hog <laughs> the rocks into leaving. I will do that. You're one smooth talker. Yes, I am. Insert a keystone. Okay, so that's what I did. Um, so I don't know what those are supposed to be. If those are supposed to be some weird, like, um, anagrams or what. <laughs> You've learned the Elvibrata word for toilet. Ah, uh, you bend over to examine the device and accidentally stub your toe on it. It hurts, the, but the box moves. It must be lighter than it looks. Take it. Okay. Alvarado device. 
Seems like it might be a doorway, but there's no keyhole or handles or anything. Um, the strange device has three buttons on top of it. Leave them be. I, I don't want it. Okay, what are these? Oh, that's strange. I guess that's gonna be a puzzle, possibly, to open up that door. I'll do that. I'll go to the back to the professor, talk to him real quick, and because I think this is all he wanted was the El Vibrato machine, if I remember correctly. Uh, something on the side of the road catches your attention. It's a slumped over skeleton wearing a wizard hat. Yay! I think you'll uh, agree that's reasonably attention getting. The skeleton lifts his skull and appears at, appears at you. He holds up a rusty old can of beans and scrapes his thumb bone across his two first finger, uh, first two finger bones in the universe of gesture for a financial transaction. Um, I don't want his beans. <laughs> you leave. Skeleton doesn't seem interested in fog. They might have been like magic beans, but I don't know. Good to see you again. Have you had the chance to use the keystone on, um, yes, I have. I, I did it. Not yet. Well, th which, that should be your next step. Uh, hey, professor, I found a thing. Great, let's see. Aha, marvelous find. This device makes batteries, or will once I've fixed it. Batteries. Uh, yep, the Alpha Brata powered their portable equipment with le little electric marbles. Um... Like the one I put in your transponder. I'm sure I don't uh, don't have to tell you a regular source of those will be incredibly useful. Awesome. Batteries. Okay. Well, then I guess I'll have to find more El Vibrato scraps to do those things. But that requires, like, fighting the machines and stuff like that. You've encountered... Uh, encounter... Oh, yeah. I've done this before. Apparently this lady has just, like, not learned to ride around the mountain. Let me go back down there, see if anything is different now that I have a little bit more information. I'd like to see if I can help this guy. But I also still need to find the thing. Okay, so yeah, I don't speak vibrato. I don't know if there's a circular hole in the bottom, so I'm gonna assume that that means that's for battery. Um, what was that? Those things aren't friendly, neither am I. Oh. You ain't nothing, buddy. Whiff! Suck it. Bang! I win. El Vibrato scraps, punch card, and that punch card complicated. I don't get these. Oh! Hi, friends. I guess. Got to jump on him. Okay, so I get to do the damage. So he should be gone. Oh, no, I guess not. Whiff! Ow! This is just a box. Just... Okay, so... Bang. Dead. Whiff. Whiff. Ha. Ha. Okay. Bang, 
One more. Or rather, two more, because... Filled. Ah. Three Alvabretto scraps. Guess I'll press the first one again. Oh, he looks bigger. He looks bigger. Oh, but not badder. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. But whatever. I still win. More Alvabretto scraps. Oh! Okay. Oh, he's a rectangle. Why is he a rectangle? I may die. Ow. If, ooh. I don't want to know what that would do. Oh, okay, he does the same thing. Oh, I may be fine. Maybe. I just gotta fight the, the circles first. Oh, there's- oh, there's more circles than I thought. Oh, no, that's not a circle. Oh, that's the dead body of a circle, okay. Um... Yeah, we'll deal with that. I th see, I thought the circle laying below the rectangle was still- like, was a part of the circle, of the rectangle. I was a little bit concerned. <laughs> I got this. I win. So is this just like a never ending thing that I just get to fight more and more and more? Because if so, I'm down for that. I am straight just down for fighting a whole bunch of these guys. Got the jump. Oh, yeah. Hey, bang. Oh, no. Oh, bang. Fight me. You guys just hate spam emails. How many scraps do I have? Because I think it takes, yeah, okay, so it takes like 10 scraps to make a battery, so I'll go make a battery. I don't like riding Splody without going all the way to him and getting, like, in, like, getting on him. Well, here's an unusual sight, uh, an old boat in the middle of the desert. If this were at the beach, you could call it beached, but you can't call it deserted, deserted because there's someone on it. Um, that someone is a skeleton wearing a helmet with horns on it. He looks pretty bored and is idly po uh, polishing the dragon-headed prow of his ship. You think maybe he's been here for a very, very long time, indeed. I guess I'll f bully him emotionally. Hey, <laughs> skeleton, everyone uh, you ever knew and cared about is long dead. You're a relic of a forgotten past, trapped in a future that doesn't care. Your race doesn't even get credited for discovering this continent. The skeleton looks super upset, and <laughs> he throws a bone at me before <laughs> I bullied him so bad that I gave him <laughs> Yeah, leave me alone. I bullied the poor skeleton into throwing a bone at me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I made a battery. I'll go back, I'll go put the battery in the thing. Why was I so mean? I don't like being known as the mean one. You spot a uh, hellcalf grazing in off the side of the trail just as it spots you. Um, oh god, no. The shadow cows are really bad. The, like, the hell cows by themselves are fine, but the shadow cows are not a not that good. Bam! 
I'm curious now if now that I have the thing unlocked, now that I have the transporter unlocked, if I'm still like, if touching those different things will affect me um, doing that. The machine hums to life, the screen says, uh, the machine is directed to a circular hole. Machine hums to life, uh, push it. Kenny voice says Chola Chobega. Um, what have I just done? Okay. It's purring like a kitten, a giant, untrustworthy alien mechanical kitten. Okay, okay. So, what did I do? Machine it on the side of its busted okay that's strange fight another square fight me square fight me you have nothing on me just because I can I'm gonna do this okay I don't know what I just did I don't know how to bring the monoliths to life either this thing. Oh, okay, yeah. I need to, like, talk to the professor or something. Ask him if, like, if he's... I'm assuming that he speaks the El Vibrato, because, I mean, if anyone in this world would speak El Vibrato, it would be him, right? Um, three skeleton train robbers arrive just... Uh, da, da, da. Ghost train surges. The train vanishes in the distance, and the robbers seem really annoyed by your interference. Fine, I'll fight them. Quickly. Oh, they just, they got fists. Oh, well, easy. Yeah. One dead. Oh, he's got a gun. Okay. I thought they had fists. I thought they just had, because normally it shows them with their guns already. But I guess if they're all just going to whiff, I, whatever. Skull chips, handful of loose teeth. Go ask him about it. See if he knows anything. No, he's. I mean, is that like all I can do now? It's just like whatever. There was a mine that I didn't deal with too much because it had a gigantic spider. If I think. I oh no, I did deal with that one. I think I did deal with that one completely. Or maybe not, I don't know. Okay, so in this game, for some reason, I am both a good and a bad guy. I am like a, the anti-hero of this game. Because <laughs> I like, beat up on some innocent people, yet I also beat up bad guys and do like, right. But then I also like, <laughs> dig up people's graves and stuff. Oh, this is where, it, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Snakes, um. I think there's one other thing other than. Oh, no. I think I dealt with it already, because it was like just a. Yeah, we didn't do too much with those swirls. Oh, the spiral, yeah. Um, I think the spirals are stuff that belongs to the cult, so I don't want to deal with those too much. Yeah. Let me see if it changed anything in here. No, I guess not. Okay, well. Wow. Weird. Wait, what? Oh, okay. It was like, what's weird? Because that used to be also blocked up by rocks. trying to think of places that I haven't been too much. Pretty sure I've been to Snake Spring. Tried the gold. I don't want to deal. I don't want to deal with him because, like, if he seems nice and all, why would I bother him? The dude is fine. He hasn't bothered me or hurt me or anything like that, so... Perfume pocket square. Interesting. Maybe that has stench resistance too. Dangerous spider. Yeah, so here's the one with the spider. 
No way I'm going back in there. Oh yeah, I freed the that one chef. I freed Doug from here. Okay, I'm gonna go back over towards um, Frisco, wander around a little bit. Oh, actually, I can go give that jewel to the one guy. Um, Leaving your valve Rado transponder leads you to a hulking robot standing mo uh, motionlessly in, out in the desert with a vulture perched on it. The vulture quickly flaps away when the light robot lights up and starts moving towards you. Leave it alone. The small valve Rado robots, they're perfectly fine. They're not that hard to deal with. So I'm gonna actually go go over here, hand him, give him the jewel that I had, and see what he can make of it, and then be on my way. Oh look! A fluvious emerald ring. Master Gerald apologizes that there's nothing he here he can work with. Okay, well thanks. Um, Let's see what this does. Plus three maximum AP, plus five speed. Ugh, is that worth it? I think that is worth it because I use my that stuff quite often. Um, but I'm gonna end this one here. I'll figure out what more I can do in the next one because I'm all out of time for this one. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.